Shakur Stevenson's next opponent has just been announced, and it's sending shockwaves through the boxing community. This isn't just any fight. Shakur's about to face off against the one and only Raleigh Romero, and let me tell you, there's a ton of bad blood between these two. No one's here just for a payday. Both fighters are out for blood, ready to take each other's heads off, and this mega fight is seeing the light of day sooner than you think. Yep, it's going down this November, and Bob Arum confirmed this news himself. The buzz around this fight is insane. Fans are already picking sides and debating who's got the edge. Shakur Stevenson, known for his slick skills and quick reflexes, is stepping into the ring as the favorite. He's often compared to Gervonta Tank Davis. And if you remember, Tank already knocked Raleigh out cold. So, it's easy to think if Tank can do it, Shakur should be able to, right? But wait, it's not that simple. Shakur's last fight against Artem was far from a walk in the park. He showed some weaknesses that Raleigh could definitely exploit. Raleigh Romero is no pushover. He's got power, and he's got heart. This guy doesn't back down from a fight, and he's got something to prove. He's coming into this match with a chip on his shoulder and fire in his belly. Bomb Aram broke this epic news. Roly Romero has already put ink on paper, and all they're waiting is for Shakur Stevenson to fly to LA and sign all the papers. Both fighters want to fight. So when that happens, then the suits sit down and try to work out the economic terms and put it together. And I'm optimistic that uh, they'll do that and that the fight will happen. But until it On one side, we've got Shakur the Matrix Stevenson, the undefeated champ with the slickest moves. But let's be real. Some people think he's a bit boring. Just take a look at what Raleigh Romero had to say after sitting through Shakur's fight. Shakur? That's, that guy will put anybody to sleep outside the ring. Not inside the ring because that's like he's the most boring fighter in the history of boxing. And they can say whatever the fuck they want. They can hype him up and all that stuff. But I, I, I really feel bad for him because there's no way they could put him on pay-per-view. He can't sell a fight. You can't really blame Raleigh for calling Shakur out for this. I mean, no one wants to watch a snooze fest. And that's always Shakur v. Zartem. Even Ryan Garcia took digs at Shakur for such a boring performance. Ryan Garcia was anything but impressed with the fight. Just take a look at what he tweeted on X. Ryan tweeted again, this time calling out how boring Shakur's fight was. Shakur might not have put Artem to sleep, but he sure managed to put everyone watching to sleep with how dull the fight was. Then there's Raleigh The Rock Romero, the wild card. He's got power, he's got heart, and he's got a mouth on him. Shakur Stevenson's boxing style is all about avoiding hits rather than taking big risks for that one knockout punch. But here's the thing. Shakur's strategy might not hold up against a hard hitter like Raleigh Romero. Raleigh packs serious power and isn't afraid to use it. If Shakur wants to make a statement in this fight, he's going to need to do a lot more than he did against Artem. That fight left many fans questioning if he has what it takes to handle someone as aggressive as Raleigh. And trust me, Raleigh has been watching closely. He's seen Shakur's game, and he's already throwing shade, calling out Shakur's cautious style. Say no, you you, you want to know what it is with Shakur? I'm going to tell you. The him boxing is something intimate, where he just wants to touch a man over and over and over again. He doesn't want to hurt him. He doesn't want him to run away because he's afraid to be to, to, to lose somebody that actually wants him, you know? And to him, it's a very intimate thing where he can just continuously touch a man. He doesn't want, he does not care to hurt you. He doesn't want to hurt you because he, no, he, he has no hurt in his heart. To him, it's just something very intimate. 
do you, a possibility of, do you think some people speculated that he doesn't really necessarily, um, you know, the, the game is a hit and not get hit. You think he puts too much emphasis on the not getting hit, which doesn't take the chances, or, or maybe afraid of getting hit, do you think is a possibility? No, he just wants to be very intimate. Obviously, Shakur being Shakur, he had to fire back at Raleigh, and so he did. Shakur called Raleigh Romero trash. Nah, nah, Roley can't fight, Roley not. You think he got saved? Nah, I think he probably would have won that fight. I think that old that old dude was getting tired. I think he was getting tired, but he trash, like he trash, he a bum. Before the stoppage, the old guy was winning on all the cards. Yeah, I agree. I'm just saying, I think that he was older so in them later rounds, he was going to like slow down and he wasn't going to do too mm. much. And Roley might have outworked him a little bit, but Roley, nah, I ain't going to lie. Floyd blessed him. That's what I will say. Floyd blessed him with that, where a title shot. Because he don't deserve that. Like, he ain't no fighter that deserve that. Yeah, Roley spoke out and he says that you have no power. You're super boring. Um, you can't sell a fight. Um, he had a lot. He had a lot of things to say about you, man. And I mean, if but hey, what else is he gonna call you when this happened to you in the ring in front of million watching? Now that's a tough pill to swallow. However, you can't overlook the fact that his opponent was none other than Gervonta Tank Davis. But hold up. Don't forget that Floyd Mayweather himself crowned Shakur Stevenson the king of the 135 division over Tank. Floyd's endorsement isn't something to take lightly. The man knows boxing inside and out, and he sees something special in Shakur. Floyd, who, when we, when you think about the fighters who are fighting now, can you give me your your one, two, three, four, and five when it comes to the the lightweight? Who you would put where? As of right now, the two guys, the biggest puncher, I feel at at the one thirty five, would probably be Javante Tank Davis. Mm -hmm. But the most skillful fighter, skillful fighter at one thirty five, would be hands down Shakur Stevens. What is it about him? Because I know you have a lot of good um, attributes, but do you think he has enough power to sustain? Well, it's, all, it's really all about skills. Pernell Whitaker wasn't a huge puncher, but he was, I mean, very exciting, very tough, and he fought everybody. Shakur is trying to do the same thing. He want to fight the best they got out there. I believe his contract is coming to an end, so hopefully we can come together and I can take him to that next level. And Floyd's involvement doesn't just stop here. Get this, Shakur Stevenson and Floyd Mayweather have joined forces as they are no training together in the gym. Now you can only imagine how far Shakur can go with Tank's wisdom. But still all that training just for Shakur to completely duck Raleigh Romero at first. Yep, when talking about potential opponents, Shakur forgot Raleigh even existed. I mean, this guy picked Jose Zapita over Raleigh. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the last thing I'm watching is Shakur go head-to-head -head with Zapata. But if you throw in Raleigh Romero in that conversation, well, suddenly it all becomes interesting. I think that's the real issue. Um, we got to get somebody to sign the dotted, dotted line, but... Um... If I could pick, it's either Lemachenko, and if they go fight each other, uh, I say Zepeda. Why, why does Zepeda keep saying my name and clout chasing me and then won't fight me? Uh, I don't think he should get a pass for that either. Now, Shakur has been facing a lot of criticism after his terrible performance against Artem. I mean, you got guys like Ryan Garcia saying all sorts of things about you. Shakur Stevenson is gay. I repeat, I just got word from the homie. He's not my homie anymore after I heard what I heard. Shakur is gay. Like, I'm serious. Bro, Shakur is gay, bro. That's crazy. Bro, I never, bro, I couldn't even peep it when I first, you know, 
because he's so good at bo Oh, he's not really that good, but, you know, he knows how to, like, punch. And everybody tweet Shakur is gay, bro, for me on this spaces, please. Hey, one tweet. Hey, one tweet goes a long way. Shakur Stevenson posted a tweet for everyone taking digs at him, and it's something you can't afford to miss. Raleigh Romero versus Shakur Stevenson is the fight fans can't wait for. This fight is going to be wild, unpredictable, and absolutely epic. It's not just about the punches thrown in the ring. It's about pride, redemption, and making a statement. Whether you're Team Shakur or Team Raleigh, one thing's for sure. This is a fight you don't want to miss. Buckle up, boxing fans, because we're in for one hell of a ride. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.